Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to create an event-driven macro in Microsoft Access 2016. Now, before I start off, what it says, a table event occur when, when I add, update or delete a record from a table. Now, we can create a macro for these events, for these particular three events or immediately after deleting or changing or modifying the particular event in our table database. Now, before I start off, give, let me give you a simple example. Let's say that I have a table in which I have the student name and in the next field, I have the marks. The what we have to create a macro for it's an event driven macro in such a way that whenever I enter in the marks column whenever I add a record in such a way that it is less than the pa passing criteria the next field should give me the answer as pass or fail depending on the criteria that we have defined. We'll get a better understanding how to create an event driven macro in our practical approach. Before I start off, let me tell you what we are going to do. Now out here, I have the marks table. Uh, I have the student name. I have the passing criteria mark, marks obtained and the result. So basically what I want to see if the marks obtained is less than the passing criteria, I should get the result as fail and vice versa. So let's go ahead and create an event driven macro. So in order to do that, I will go under the table tool tabs and I'll move on the table. Now out here, I can see there are uh, two groups which says before events and after events. Now I can create an event before deleting it or after deleting it or we can also create an event before change and after insert. All right. So we'll start off with the very basic one that is before change. So I'll simply select the before change. The moment I click on before change, a macro tool is popped up right in front of your screen. So basically, I'm creating an if condition out here. If my passing criteria is less than or it is more than the marks obtained, then my answer should be accordingly. All right. So basically, I'll create a if condition out here. If you can see on the extreme right hand side of my screen, I have an action catalog where I will create an event which starts with an if condition. So let's go ahead and select this. So I'll simply double click. So the moment I'll double click, it is giving me the if statement. So I say if the passing criteria, if you can see, I have this group field. So I'll say if the passing criteria is greater than if the passing criteria is greater than marks obtained, all right. So what should be the answer? Then it is basically asking if passing criteria is greater than marks obtained, then what should be the scenario? So I have to set something. So I'll say I'll move to this particular field which says set field. So I'll simply select this and drag this inside the event. So it should be under the result table. If you can see it pops up under the result table, the value should be fail. So getting the guys of what I'm done. So I have to type the fail under double inverted commas. Perfect. So I'm typing fail in double inverted commas. So basically what I've done, if my passing criteria is greater than the marks obtained, the result should be fail and it should be again vice versa as well. And if not, let's add one, one more if so as, a, as if, if my passing criteria Again, I'll type that passing criteria. If it is less than marks obtained. All right, if it is less than, so what should be the scenario out here? Again, I'll add a set if condition under this particular event. So under the result table, under the result table, I should get the value as pass. So I'm typing this, I say it should be pass. I'll simply uh, close the statement. Now I've given it a criteria. So let's go ahead and perform this task. I'll save this event and let's close it. Now, if I go ahead and let's type if the passing criteria is 35 and if Richard has got, let's say 30, it should give me the result as fail. So if I go here, it's giving me the result as fail. Similarly, if the passing criteria is 35 and it, if it has scored, let's say 60. All right, I should get the result as pass out here. Let's move here and if I move down, I get a pass. So basically guys, this is how you can create an event driven macro under the table section and the table tools and depending on which event you'd like to create, you can simply select it and create a macros accordingly. All right guys, so this was all for this video. 